Are you back when I find you on Supermarket Simulator? Yeah, the three of them are standing right here so they must not have anything to do. At the end of the last episode we bought the last license and I started filling the shelves and I also started moving some of the stuff around. Then it got a little difficult because these guys keep cleaning up after me so I can't really do it. Anything I put in a box on the floor they picked it up and put it on the shelf and then bin the box. So it made it a bit more difficult for me but I started it. Don't know if I actually should do it for this episode or not, but we'll find out. One thing I have noticed while one thing I've noticed while recording this full series is video quality is really low. I did decrease the quality of the game and hope so of my laptop not overheating too quick. Just so the fans aren't getting too loud. I have decreased the frame per second that it's recording yet, so hopefully that helps. Hopefully I can run it a bit higher quality. Or it doesn't affect as much when I'm not Charging the laptop and it overheats. Do I open it up straight away? I thought 1200. I don't know if I'm going to be able to move any of the stuff about because I need an empty box for that. So, you know what? I'll just open up. I'll start earning some money. Now, get a new license. I'll get a new order going because I don't have any of the new stuff in the stock, stock room. So, we'll order that stuff first. They're definitely just going to take the boxes and put money on the shelves because. The shelves are low. Okay, so if you didn't see the last episode, all the new items we got is from these chips all the way down to the sugar powdered. But we'll get two of everything. So I need to fill up this order of stuff. So let's get two cereal, two bread, two flour. There we go, that is our order full. Okay, let's go and get the stuff. Okay, so the flour. Okay, so it goes vodka, chips, flour. So we've got the fork of there, so chips, flour goes there. Flour, mashed potato, then the pepper goes there. This is the new bread, this is the sandwich bread. Which goes after the pepper, it's rice, then the bread. Rice, then the bread. What is the new crust? So this is the first one. This goes up here. I'm sure this was the last one. It is. So this goes here. I think they must have put some of the new stuff on the shelves already. And they have put them on an empty shelf for here. Ah, they have put one, they have put it there. Ah, that doesn't go there. Ah, there's a the rice. Do I fairly close to putting it in the right spot? No, it goes, af it goes after the pepper, not before the pepper. That means the mashed potatoes before peppers. Yes. We're getting close to having to expand this place. Okay, let's get an order going then, because I'm pretty sure the shelves are going to be empty soon if they're not already. Let's focus on the stuff that's really low first. So we'll get one sugar, two water, two flour, two spaghetti, two orange juice, one cola, two Sprite, one apple juice, one milk, two cereal, three bleach, two cleaner, two dishwasher tablets, two tuna, came ten of the potatoes and the chicken. I need three of each. Right, I can get two of the potatoes in. Yes, oh, it's after nine o'clock. I mean, I guess I, I've got stuff through here that needs to go for the back actually. Okay, all the stuff is brought in. They are very busy. Couldn't find chicken. Oh, but it's in the next order, but I couldn't get it in time. Okay, I'll take anyone. Okay, some big orders, please. I was doing the same thing again when I'd been with slow. Oh, I just remembered the last time. I paid, off, I paid off my loan early, except I was still being charged all the other payments. And I was being charged late fees because I wasn't saying to pay them on time because I thought I didn't need to. I should check to make sure that they're all done. To see if that glitch has left. If not, I'm going to, need to pay them. Just so I don't end up losing more money for paying late fees even though I've technically already paid it. Either way, I'm going to lose money. I already have lost a lot. See, this is more like the $100, $100 at least. That's more like it. Can't find last sushi. You got like two of them. How much sushi do you need? They're getting stuck. What is going on? Oh wait, okay, they started filling now. They managed to fill it. Okay. Let's go check if the loans are done. Oh, they're still there. The repayments are still here, even though the loan's been paid off. Okay, well, I guess. But they're all late now. Can I afford to pay them all? 
I can. No, I've paid them all. I should be them gone. They better be them gone. They better not be up here. They better not be anymore. That's a lot of money I've just lost from that day because I've paid off that loan. Right, let's end it off. Hopefully, I can actually earn money the next day and I don't keep losing it. 59 customers. I think, is that the most? I think that's the most customers I've had in a day. Four final expensive, 12 products not found. There was a lot of text coming up. I still made $2,000 in profit, even though I currently have less than that. Bill, rent, staff. Okay, good. There was no payment for the bank, apple juice and crab sticks. Oh, well, these have dropped massively in price. That's not what I want to see. I want to see these be expensive. I want to get a lot of money from these. And yeah, we'll go 250 This is the only section that I'm really happy with how it looks because it's apple juice, orange juice, and then the sodas. Everywhere else, it's all mixed up. This one isn't that bad because it's got two of these stuff. Venice chops, beef steak, and the salmon. So that, that one's not too bad. Then we've got two cheeses here. We've got a cheese there. We've got a cheese over here. Eggs there, we've got eggs there, there's another egg. So there's another egg somewhere, there's three, isn't there? Oh yeah, the one that's empty. Yeah, it would be nice if I could organise all this, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Right, okay, before I open up this, first off, order this. One that I've already got done. What did I get to? I should have checked. I actually made clothes up, but that's fine. Do I have enough now, surely? Yes. Add one keg to that one. That's that done. I don't have enough. I'm going to leave this till to go to continue the orders. Yeah, I'm, I'm closing this. Sorry, people. You're just going to go to the store to till. Okay, we've got what, a keg in. But we need two of these as well. One bread and just just order it before I don't have enough money. Somebody, please, but just stuff quick. I'm not gonna have enough. It's gonna be the end of it anyway. I could just get rid of some. I wasn't even enough anyway. So we've got another order ready to go the next day. Let's just jump in a till the now since I've got queues here. All the people waiting on the tills. How fast I've served. Or four customers in the time they served one. Right, let's go and start putting our stuff away. Did you just walk out without pain? What is going on with my game? Why is that happening? Why are they coming going out the shop to collect stuff? They got the bleach. The bleach is here. I if you know how to I could the furnace from outside as well. What? Oh no, he's there. Just too close. Let's see if that makes a difference. But it doesn't help with the fact that they stand here for this stuff. There's plenty of space. Day 88. 66 customers served. Okay, with well, the amount of customers of seven has gone up. 1,800 in profit. No. 902 in profit, uh, 1,800 for current balance. I didn't seem to earn as much from that day as what I did the previous day because I had 4k from the previous day. Okay, we'll put this order in. Down to $500, let's go open up so I start earning some money. Okay, so I've got through the full order now. I've gone from the start to finish, now I can go back through. And I want to top up the stuff that need re-topped up, but I can also get the stuff that I didn't do the first time because there was still three boxes up. If someone's waiting on my tails, I better go sell them so I actually need to get some money. Oh, and that's going to be enough for that order as well. Thank you.
I was running out of money when I'm doing these orders again. So I jumped on the tower to pass the time and ended up running out of time. So for end of the day now. Day 98, 65 customers served. Coming at 2,700 to 1,500 profit. Did spend a lot. Orange juice, bottled water, honey, hand soap. 250 for the hand soap. Orange juice, that can go 350. Bottled water, I bet this one will go 350. Can't remember what the other one was. I'm pretty sure it's in the fridge. Oh, apple juice. I got $3. Yeah, again. Another day done. Let's end it off. Day 90. 64 customers served. Only $700 in profit, but I did spend a lot in, in products. Currently, 2800 Starting to think this really might not work exactly, so you know, I'm going to move these shelves up a bit. Might just be that if there's enough space I want to get around this side, it'll be fine. As long as you don't get stuck, getting stuck on the checkouts. I only just got that order in, in time. Surprised I even got it in. That time was perfect. I've just finished bringing the order in for the back here. And the tills are finished beeping. It's the end of the day. Once again, I'll oh, have a look. Next license, 5,600. I don't know why I'm just not earning that much money. I'm spending it all back on buying the stuff, products again. I'm like barely making a profit each day. I don't know how I'm ever going to make a, enough money to buy the new license again. Day 91. 67 customers. That's why I like, barely made that profit today. I did spend over $4,000 on supply though. That's the reason. But 141 in profit, that it. Yeah, again, end of another day. Currently got 3,500, so the balance has gone up a wee bit from the previous days. A couple of things are still near order, but for the most part, everything is fully stocked. I don't know why they keep getting stuck over here now. So that they're stuck on. The two of them are getting stuck. Okay, so we end off the day now. Day 92, 63 customers, 1,800 profit. Okay, so I think today's going to be a day that, for one, I'm just going to open up straight away. I'm going to spend fair little on products. I don't know why this guy keeps getting stuck. I'm going to move it down here. If I can, or not, maybe not. That didn't make a difference, he's still stuck. Okay, so I'm going to buy two of the sandwich bread, two of that flour, two vodka, two water, pasta, two sugar, two cereal, a bread. Okay, I have now done three orders of stuff that was completely out or there was very little left in the box. Okay, so while they scanned through the last couple of customers, I've currently got $6,000. I'm just going to buy the new lessons. It's going to be issues the next day because I'm going to have no money to pay staffing the bills. In fact, I can just pay these the now. Yeah, I still go for six. Did I not do that one? What's your license? Okay, that's fine. I can pay that bill. It's definitely going to cause issues because I'm not going to have any money the next day to buy everything. But I want to purchase it, so I'm doing it right now. Let's have a look at the products that's in it then. Okay, so we've got bleach. Clean okay, it's a cleaner. It's not a cleaning one. It's more toilet paper. Okay, I'm kind of glad I started to empty one of the total shelves. I started to reduce this down. I forgot to actually remove a label where I could. I'm going to take, get rid of this one and then... At some point, when I've got an empty shelf, empty box. I'll get rid of these two, so I have 
three for this one and three for the new toilet roll. Because I think it was a bit of an overkill having that much. I really don't think I needed that much. But all for the shelf, that's one, two, three, four, five, and then six, including toilet paper. So we do one. I can put two, three, four, five. Are you joking? I'm one shot off short, really. Oh no, I could put I could put one up here. But at the same time, I kind of want to keep all the clean stuff together. Yeah, I want to keep it all together. I'll get one. I'll get one shelf. I'll add one of each to the cart. I'll add in a second toilet roll. Again, second bleach. There's just only six in that box. I've got space for one more item. I've only got three of that oil left. So I'll get one of the oil. And in one, I will purchase this. It's seven hundred dollars. However, it's a little annoying because it's actually going to cost me seven hundred dollars, and I have enough for that right now. However, in the morning, I'll pay the staff and I'll pay. There'll be another thing I need to pay for, which will be four or five hundred dollars. So I'll probably need to wait a wee bit before I can actually get stuff out. But we'll do one more day. This will be the final day. So let's just end it. The shelves are looking very empty. Although to be fair, they actually managed to fill the shelves up quite a bit since. I've been sorting this new license. Day 93, 64 total customers. A lot of money, but I did spend 5,600 on upgrades, so it's fair enough. So I paid 413 staff, so I've got 300, that's not bad. Coffee, cheese, and another two. Well, that's gone up in price for quite a bit. I've got 12 for that. This can go up to $6. I need to figure out what the other ones were. Four fifty for the cake and the last one is the new sugar which was this one, six dollars. I don't know where I'm going to put this new shelf, that's an issue. Okay the layer has changed slightly, I've got enough space to put another shelf in, actually I've got enough money now I can actually purchase that. This guy's stuck again. There's going to be a lot of stuff that's actually going to be running low on the shelves right now. Let's put this bag to go in this way since I can't fit three shelves in that space. Let's put this here. You set the prices as I put the stuff out because it's gonna start selling. Okay, so let's put clean stuff here. I think I'll move I swap probably swap this shelf with one of the ones over there, so I've got the clean stuff in the same corner. But for now, but do I have the bleach on this one? Top shelf. This can be eight dollars. Actually like get move. Bleach here. Remove these. Put this down. Remove. Remove. Add this to this side. Okay, I can bend this box now. Guess we'll just put this one on this side. And this, this is the toilet roll. Which will go here. If they two up there, put them up there. Place this box. Get rid of that label. There we go. Oh, he took the box on me. Oh, I need to set the price. Okay, $18, I'm fine with that. What is this? Don't you know what this actually is? Dish soap. Dish soap can... I don't want to put the dish soap up there, but I've got another cleaner and I've got cleaner there, so I guess I'll just put the dish soap up here. Oh, I never set... I never set a price for this, did I? Uh, we'll go sixteen thirty. No, it's taking it. I can go six twenty. That should shouldn't be too high. Where's that other cleaner gone? I put it for the back somewhere. I, I've not put this on the shelf yet, have I? I haven't. This one's the bleach. This one's cleaner as well. So I really should have had this one and this one with the other cleaner and this with the other bleach. And that's this washer tablets and it's this washer tablets out. We'll go seven ten for this bleach. It's so hard dishwasher tablets, dishwasher tablets. That's bleach. 
So I'll move the other bleach over there. Where have I put that box? Oh, he's got it. Damn it. I see he's trying to put it somewhere, but he can't put it anywhere because there's no space right now. Okay, but he's not even trying to put the box, put the bleach shirt there, so I don't know. This guy's stuck. I guess I'm just going to move the shampoo up here. Then I've got that shelf for the bleach. So I've got bleach, bleach, dishwasher tablet, dishwasher tablet, free cleaners, dish soap. I've got a hand, hand wash, shampoo. Uh, maybe it makes more sense to put this down here now. But I need to set the price for this cleaner still. So this will be... I'll go $10, maybe a little expensive. Did I set the price for everything? That's good for this video. I hope you enjoyed ending off the day with three thousand dollars. I have a lot of stuff that's going to need restocked. It's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be, to be fair. But a lot of stuff is empty. Very empty. And that's a mess over here. We need to sort this all out. That's good for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Another video. See ya.